Welcome back to Podcast Recovery, everybody. We are your hosts, David O. And Eric V. And today we are doing another one of our topic episodes. We are doing part three of the 32 Principles of Recovery, an extra little book yeah, I that uh, mm-hmm. one of our previous guests sent to us. And so far, uh, out of the, the first eight we were doing per episode, we're going to do four principles. And, you know, we're going to read them out. See how they go, and you know we'll give them a thumbs up and or a thumbs down or or a mid. See how they are, and you know. Shit's mid. Shit's mid. Shit's mid as fuck. No cap. Shit's mid. <laughs> Shit's mid. Oh god, I hated that I just said that. I'm too old. No, I'm not allowed <laughs> to say that. I can say sus though. I do say sus. I'll say sus. Yeah. Sus is that's What's fine. What's wrong with sus? Because like we started that shit. We we're like that's suspect as that's shit. That's sus. That's, but and then the younger kids were like suspect. Oh, let's just cut it in half, make it sus. Uh, they stole it from us because I said shit was suspect forever. I, I don't remember what I was saying. Shit, shit's whack. Oh yeah, shit's, shit's whack. whack. Oh fuck yeah. Oh yeah. Shit's by the way, man. Rob, if you watch this, I have lots of these types of hats, and I don't care if you think I'm in a, a British chimney sweep. That's fine. Fuck you. Or he could be a blinder. I could. I'm not that cool. I'm yeah. a, I won't be one of those dudes. I'm a PK fucking I don't blinder. See, I don't no. see a razor in your cap. No, there's no there's no razor in the brim. No, this is just a, a straight. I've had this one for years. Though. You have had that. I've had this one for years, and I've recent. Now I have three of them. You can so. pull it off. You know, you're oh one yeah, of, you're one of the few. I'm gonna get Brad on it because I really. Cause, I agree. I yeah. agree. We talked about this. Brad yeah. has the head for it. Yeah, I'm I'm yeah. buying him one. It's gonna be really nice. He has the head. Anyway. Enough digression. We're going to get to our 32 principles, part three. We are on principle nine. Uh, and now we're journeying into the unknown because I have not seen any of these. All right. Principle nine. A lack of gratitude gives way to a bad attitude. So be grateful for the small things and soon you will have much bigger things to be grateful for. It's a gratitude list. It's a gratitude list. It, it, it's a very simple gratitude list. It, it, it's an old staple of recovery, which is, is super true. Like a uh, ha- keeping keeping and maintaining a perspective of gratitude is difficult, but it is important because if you just start becoming just ungrateful and and about the shit in your life, you you're ev- everything's gonna be out of whack. Your your perspective's gonna be out of whack. Your um your attitude is you you're not gonna have an attitude of gratitude. Lame. I know. Lame. I know it's lame. Is it is lame there, cliche, right? There. Lame cliche. Um is there anything worth reading in here? Um bu- 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 bu. Hmm. No. no. I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not, not gonna, gonna read, read any of this. Yeah, it's just a, it's just, a it's just a basic gratitude list, so you know, any any ooh. No, I am gonna okay. I am gonna read this you on the, the nugget it looks like. Yeah. And and it starts with one of my favorite authors, Henry David Thoreau. Everybody oh. should read some. Oh. At Walden Pond, fantastic. I've been there. Um so Henry David Thoreau said it best. My Thanksgiving is uh perpetual. My breath is sweet to me. Oh how I laugh when I think of my vague indefinite riches. No run on my bank can drain it, for my wealth is not my possessions, but my enjoyment. Okay. It's true. You know? I mean, the the important things are life are not the, the people, places, and things. It's, it's well, it is the people, but it's not the places and the things. It's, it's the stuff you, it's the memories you make, because those are the things that are going to last. You can't take anything else with you. Can't take well, memories. I mean, you can't with take you. anything with you. I mean, can't take anything with you. I but but you can you can leave behind I mean, good memories. The only thing I'm aware of is that I'm taking a DM trip, DMT trip at the end of all this, and it's taking me somewhere. <laughs> you know, I'm not I'm not sure where, but I'm not sure if I'm really allowed to bring baggage. Am I? I don't know. I don't know. You got to talk to your to your shaman about that. I don't, I, I'm not sure. We all exit this world the same way, one DMT trip at a time. Oh yeah, yep, yep. You know? you the DMT kicks in in your brain and your soul goes whew, somewhere. All right, but I wonder. Um, I wonder if those. Pe- I wonder if really hardcore people in recovery consider that a relapse. DMT. No dying. <laughs> oh, dying. <laughs> Uh, you know I mean? no, I it's think like, they, they uh, actually have like a coin for that. You it, released, you released, you that released, you your, released your natural, your, no, God gave you, <laughs> God gave you those drugs. That's, that's totally on him. Um, so yeah, yeah. Keeping, you know, be grateful for the things that you have. Uh, 
I do that all the time. I, I forget. I, I don't, don't do gratitude lists very often. No, I don't. I don't do gratitude lists very often. But you know, uh, especially if if when you consider where you were to where you are, like, I mean, I, I came from a jail cell. You did. I One. can't like I I came from a jail cell and ooh okay quick story story time everyone um so I had my drug evaluation for my uh to get my license did I tell you about this your what my Maryland license for security uh, you told me you've mentioned that you're doing something about it okay you so I, to I have to, to get a, I have to get yeah. a, no I didn't have to go to court or you went to Columbia Addiction Center yes like we, yes yeah, we which is now this. they rebranded to Columbia Treatment Center which sounds way better it's still next to Sylvan Learning Center. Still the exact same place. Okay, okay. Still the exact same place. <laughs> same woman. Same woman who was there. And the she, cutie. Uh huh. The cute one. No, old, old oh. older lady. There was I, a cute I'm not going to mention her, in her name. There was yeah. a cute counselor. Oh yeah, there, there was. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Back in the day, um, Jesus, she'd be forever old now. She'd be older than us. She'd, she'd be like f- maybe fifty. Yeah. Which, hey. Fifties can still get it. Fifties can. Hey. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hey. Um. So anyway, I had my drug evaluation on Wednesday. Um, they went through all the things, uh, family history, work history, living history, um, uh, drug use history, uh, treatment history, da, 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 da. She ended up taking like seven pages of notes. It was like a whole hour long evaluation. And I took a piss test. So that got, um, okay. that went through. Ultimately sent that in, sent that to my HR person who then sent it to the Maryland State Board. They reviewed it. And on Friday, I got my email. So yesterday that I've been approved. Good. Yay. Okay. So ha ha. Yay. Um, so and uh, when I was leaving there, I was like, oh, you know, if you want me to be a speaker in one of your groups, I'd totally be cool with that. And they were like, oh, absolutely. So they hit up all the they sent it out an email to every single one of the, the counselors and all of them flooded my email. We're like, oh, can you come share my meeting? Can you come share my meeting? I'm like, sure. 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 So, yeah. So, so, yeah. So uh, the treatment center I went to when I was 14 years old is now bringing me back 22 years later to be a speaker in their meetings. And it's, that's a real, like, that's something to be grateful for. That's, that, that's, uh, a, that's a full circle recovery story that's, that's pretty cool. And I'm actually pretty proud of that. That's, that's cool. I always wanted to share my treatment centers that's that's very cool oh and they had a they had a pen from ashley that i grabbed for you oh good okay, <laughs> but good. i forgot to bring it to but me, i fucking so. like I, so i went to father martin's before it was ashley but still okay. i do like yeah i do i do love my my you know i don't even eat anymore but yeah i heritage. can appreciate the steak night I yeah know. totally oh and then uh as i was leaving she was like you know i probably have your file from 10 years ago i was oh like shut up so she downloaded she she pulled up did my she, file did you look at it she printed it out and she yeah. gave it to me and i'm like reading through it in there and i'm just like well you know i told i told you most of the truth yeah. <laughs> and they were like most of the truth i was like yeah if i told you everything you would have kept me here way longer <laughs> yeah you gotta lie a little bit yeah. You know. So she was like, oh, yeah. So I get to go be a speaker back at my original treatment center from when I was 14 years old. So That's going to be pretty cool. Dude. That's super cool. That's super cool. All right. Um, I think that's yeah, two thumbs up. Two thumbs up for Principal 9. Yeah, it's pretty. It's a layup. It, it's a layup. That's it's a layup. layup. But, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a two-foot putt. It is what it is. Not all of them are 30-footers. All right. Principal 10. Don't discard the truth. Just because you didn't like where it came from. Do not hate the messenger just because you dislike the message. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. All right. Let me read a little bit of this. Yeah, let me let, let me let me get deeper into this one. Okay. It's easy to dismiss the truth when you don't like the source. That's true. Uh, we must accept truth regardless of the source because only then can we truly be honest with ourselves and others. Who, who mm. makes up the truth? Well, I mean, if nobody's telling you shit and then all of a sudden somebody hits you with a, like a hard pill to swallow, you, like it can be very easy to get pissed off at that person. Oh, okay. You, you know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like, like I, the example we were talking about before. Yeah. yeah. And, and it like, it, it's, it's a lot like that saying, like, I, I would rather step on your toes than walk on your grave, you know? 
Like I'd ra- I'd rather tell you some shit. Like if it's you and me, like and you're you're clearly fucking up. I get what you're saying. Yeah. I what you're saying. Like I would rather give you some 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 harsh words, which Herb has done many times. Like a sponsor should call you on your shit yeah. when it's difficult, because sometimes you need to hear that difficult shit to snap your your head out of your butt. Um. And then honesty is imperative to recovery, growth, and maturity. Addiction is an enemy of truth and seeks to always stay secretly hidden clothed in falsehoods and buried in lies or half truths relationships will be stifled and dysfunctional without honesty often we have the most difficult we have the most difficulty accepting truth from those we have been dishonest with that's that's a deep one that's actually good i i really like that because like there's been times where people i don't like have shared a meeting and they say something good and i'm like Okay. Okay. That's a good nugget. It's it's coming that from That is rare. It's rare. That is it's rare, rare, but it happens. But but you know that that's a good thing about staying open minded. Like you have to stay open minded to even people you don't fucking like. Cuz they can they can have nuggets of wisdom and they can have good things to say that will help you in your in your journey. They can. They can. I mean th- there's tell me you haven't had a coworker that you don't like actually give you like a piece just like hey if you do this this way it'll be a little bit easier and you're like fuck it is easier not for me that's never happened not for me okay but you understand the analogy understand that the that principle. can happen i'm the person usually being like here if you just do this command it's gonna save you yeah, a lot of yeah. time yeah control v yeah, that's all you that's, need there you oh, go my favorite is when i used to work with like really old people at the college and they'd be like <laughs> And I'd be like, no, we have to click it. Yeah. No. No. Yeah. No. They're hunting and pecking on the on the uh, keyboard. Eric, we can't do Control V. You have to right click on it, and then press the copy button. I'm just like, oh my god. (laughs) Yeah. So you're that person for everybody else. You're like, I really don't like Eric, but he has good advice, so I I should probably listen to it. Yeah. So you're that guy. I'm that guy, I guess. Yeah. So I people don't really give me advice, <laughs> or when they do, I, I I really shut it down pretty quick. <laughs> I'm like that doesn't surprise me. Is there solicitation here? Do you yeah. not see my sign? Mm-hmm. No fucking solicitation. Yeah. Oh, okay. I don't get like I I'm I'm vehemently against uh, unsolicited advice. Yeah. I very very seldom do I give unsolicited advice. If you're not asking, like I'll like I can have a perspective on somebody's whatever ongoings but i'm not gonna fucking say anything because it's not my place i'll ask people if they want like yeah do you want a suggestion i will exactly i will like, always preface be like do you do, do you want, want my opinion? An opinion do you want my advice because i have some but if you don't want it then i'm not gonna give it to you yeah. so unless some like unless you're in that conversation there i'm not, i'm not gonna go out of my way to be like well you know what you really should do yeah like there's a lot of those people in the rooms and some of them are worth listening to some of them aren't like that's just the truth well some people just like to hear their and that's just heard, oh yeah and that's just yeah people are like oh i have these two pennies in my pocket and they're just they're just burning a hole in my pocket i gotta well, get rid of these two cents well there's also those people like who just like i love the people where there's like silence in the meeting and like they just can't handle it Oh yeah, and they're like, oh well, I decided. Uh, hey, yeah. hi, I I I'm mean, John. I'm yeah, Natty. It, it was really quiet. <laughs> the silence was I, really I could, messing me yeah, up there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then they yeah they just share five minutes of like I don't uh, okay. Did you Go need on. to share that? Buddy? Did you need to share that? Is that really necessary? But you know, I never, I never fault anybody to share. If you need to share, even just to open your mouth and break your own social anxiety, that's cool. So again, silence. yeah. The I'll read it one more time. Don't discard the truth just because you didn't like where it came from. So not some the messenger, and do don't hate the messenger because you dislike their message. That's okay. So the second part of that is true. That's fair. Yeah, like I'm not gonna hate you just because you like your message sucked. Like, well, that's maybe. not a reason to hate somebody. That's not a reason to dislike somebody. I might hate someone because of their story. Oh yeah. Well, it, it depends. You know, it, it has happened. There's people where I'm just like, oh, You're like you did that shit. Like I'm, it would never stop me from helping that person. But they're like, I'll, I'll be honest. There yeah, are they, things they, that would stop me from helping a person. Like, oh yeah. Of, like yes. anything with yes. kids. Yeah. Fuck off. Oh yeah. Dude. Oh yeah. 
Fuck oh off. yeah and there there are some people in the rooms who have been racist and i'm like i'm never gonna interact with you ever again there's been people in the rooms that we know of who are pedophiles yeah and like yep. you know there's people who are like well we just need to love them for where they're at and it's like you know what no I we don't. don't i don't i don't have absolutely to do not. that nope i do not nope you do not absolutely not but like i'm not gonna go out of my way to sabotage that person no, they can live and their like life. you can go live your life you can go fuck but off as soon over there. as they're near a kid i am gonna fucking say something i i hope you i ho- <laughs> yep i hope you stay clean the far the fuck away from me and that's loving people from a distance yes so there you go um Got i'm gonna give that one the kid stuff <laughs> I'm going to give that one a, a a thumbs up. Yeah. Yeah. So far, we're two for two. Nine and ten, you know, two for two. We're, we're rolling today. All right. Principle 11. Let's see what we got. Um, we can convince ourselves of the most unbelievable lie. True. And yet, we won't accept the truth that has been revealed to us, even if we can see it, hear it, touch it, taste it, and smell it. Okay, the last, that, you could have cut that short. We, we won't accept the truth that has even been t- revealed to us. Boom. Period. Shorten it. Wait, so say that again? We can convince ourselves of the most unbelievable lie. Oh, Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, everybody does that. Yes. And then the counterpoint, they flip it, and yet we won't accept the truth that has been revealed to us. Yeah. I mean... What truth? Uh, like the addiction show? <laughs> if somebody is like just pointing out the the obvious of like you are fucking up your life we like and it's obvious like you're losing jobs you're getting arrested you're 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 getting evicted like you're you, you're losing relationships those are all clear signs that you are firebombing your life yeah and those are facts like fact you lost your job fact you are getting evicted fact you got divorced fact you no longer can see your kids those are all factual things that somebody can look at and tell somebody you're fucking up your life and we won't listen to it no and we we won't hear it that's that's the cognitive dissonance in just our rigorous rigorous arrogance and and just unwillingness to accept that no i'm not i'm not fucking up my my life i'm just you know I, I, I'm I'm dealing. I'm, it's not all arrogance, though. No, it's not all arrogance. But you like you know what I mean. Um, it, it's a lot of misinformation. It's a lot of misperception. Um, because like dr- they're 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 a coping mechanism. Mm-hmm. Drugs are a defense and coping mechanism that honestly, like, I can't remember who said it. They're like drugs saved my life. Yeah. Yeah, like for me, like it, it's weird to say that and like somebody who's never really like been through any sort of like really dark traumatic shit doesn't necessarily understand that that like yeah, for that time, if I didn't have drugs, I probably would have killed myself. Oh, well yeah. Like between 14 and 25, like if yeah. if I did not if I was not seek if I was not just chemically inducing some level of happiness into my life, I probably would have killed myself. I tried. No, I, I tried did, in the I, middle of I it. I did too. Between 15 and 24 for me. Yeah. Ex- like, years. yeah, I, I attempted suicide at one point in my life because I was so fucking miserable and inside my head. Um, some of it was reality. Some of it was perceived. But, and so by that, by that nature, drugs stopped me from doing that for a long time. So drugs saved my life. Yeah. I mean, drugs, you're trying to kill yourself sometimes. I mean, like I, I but again, and, and just like I was talking about with the treatment center, they tried to help me at age 14. They tried to help me at age 18 uh, and they tried to help me at age 25. It finally stuck at 25. Well, 25, I thought was more jail though. Was it was more jail, but they they were the outpatient program I went to because I had to do IOP. Oh, had to I had do to do something. IOP for nine months. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, yeah. I was there for a while. That's a long time, I was there time, for a while. Dude. I didn't know you did IOP for nine months. Yeah, my first nine months of my first year. Yeah. Fuck. And I was on pro- and I was on probation for the first eighteen months. I was on a I was on probation. From for my first year, Howard County or from Pennsylvania? both, both. My first year, I was on double probation in in Howard County in Pennsylvania. Then my second year, I still had six months lingering of uh, Pennsylvania, and so my real 
first year that was totally not on the books was year three. Hmm. Yeah. I've never had time on the books, so I don't know. I don't know. I never I never had a, you know. I never had a court slip. I never had a court slip. I do. I still have my court slip. <laughs> I still have my court slip, which is actually also super meaningful because it has, like, Tyler's signature uh, on it. So I'm like, I got to keep this. I have. Um, oh, it's a little piece. I have a jacket from my one friend who OD'd, and it was also his brother. Like, it was mm-hmm. his brother's jacket who also OD'd. Mm-hmm. Um, and that one's meaningful. Because yeah. it's like, it was his, and then his brother stole it. And gave it to me yeah. for some reason. And it was like, oh, it was both of yours. Cool. Yeah. Like, and you're both not here anymore. Tyler was 10 years ago. I was 2014. I was talking about Tyler to someone the other day. Like, that, yeah. whole, that whole thing and just, like, how mm-hmm. crazy it is. Like, how random is that shit? You Unbelievable. Know what I mean? Like, Unbelievable. Like, that guy. Like, did that guy even know that girl? Or was he just obsessed with her? Like They never found a connection. They never found so a connection. So he was just low-key obsessed mm-hmm. with this chick who worked at Zoomies. Mm-hmm. Zoobies. Zoobies. Zoomies. 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 Went in and shot her and, and shot, then shot and shot him. Tyler. And then shot Tyler. Then shot himself. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Yep. They never that's so he was literally just obsessed with that girl. Mm-hmm. And Tyler mm-hmm. was just there. Tyler was just there. Yeah, dude. Yep. Thought first it. hug. First person I met in NA. First phone number I well, got. He was your in sponsor. NA. He was my sponsor. First person I ever worked up with. Got murdered he with wasn't 13 your months first clean. sponsor. He was the first sponsor I, I worked steps with. I know, but he wasn't your first sponsor. Yeah, yeah. Your first sponsor was a bit of a turd. I said it, not you. You okay. don't have to say anything. Okay. He knows who he is. Um, Come at me, bitch. <laughs> um, they're not going to watch this. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but, but no, and we can convince ourselves of the most unbelievable lie. Like, yeah, like, I mean... I'm just living my best life. Uh, you know, I'm 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 being happy, and everybody else is ruining my life. Like, mm. are they? Are your parents are really ruining your life? They might be. They might. They be. could more be. more often than not. No, they're not. They they're not making it easier. Um, and sometimes I think parents are like a lot of parents suck. A I, lot of parents suck. I think that's true. Like I was oh, like, like thinking about it. Like my parents put so many obstacles in my way. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Where it's oh, like, so did mine. It's just like. Yeah, I mean, your, par- your, par- your parents put, like, emotional, psychological blocks Obstacles. in your life. Yeah. Mine put, like, financial yeah. blocks in Mine my life. Mine are, like, emotional and, like, mm-hmm. yeah, psychological, physical. Yeah. But yeah. all right. Um, yeah. I, uh, we can convince ourselves of the – and that's, that's where self-honesty comes in and, more importantly, honesty with some other – that's why connection is so important in recovery because we can tell ourselves the best lies and until we bounce it off somebody else we're not we're not going to get the 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 true reflection of the nature of what we're doing yeah like we're not like i i can i can see the things in my life one way and then eric you'll be like no that's not the way it is at all and i'm and i can't see, i can't see it from your perspective and i'll never be able to and unless i connect with another person to get that perspective i'm just going to wallow in my own shitty thinking and that's going to be that. thinking man stinking thinking that's that's, um, the, that's the word so yeah back, that's back to the honesty and and accepting the truth ten Principle 10 and 12 are very, very much about honesty and truth and being able to accept it. What is the truth? So are we three for three today? Or I, I think that's a thumbs up. Yeah, I'll give it. To All right. Those. All right. We're three. Sure. For, we're three for three. Hopefully I, I want some I want some controversy well, let's see what those last ones in, in in principle 12. Okay. All right. So our last principle. Uh, is there anything to read in here? No. Okay. No, nothing to read. In. Okay. Do do do. Principle twelve. Ooh. Okay. Principle twelve. Discipline has two meanings. Number one, controlled behavior resulting from training or self-control. Okay. Huh. Controlling for meaning or self-control. So they're actually going with like dictionary definitions here. I'll uh, okay. I'll repeat that. So discipline has two meanings: controlled behavior resulting from training or self-control. So that's your discipline. Okay. And then number two is punishment intended to correct or train. I is only me. I'm totally, I'm, I'm missing this. Wait, go again. Say it again. 
So principle 12 is discipline has two meanings, controlled behavior resulting from training or self-control, yeah. and then number two, punishment intended to cor- correct or train. How is that a principle? How is Why that- are we disciplined people? Like, like I get the discipline. Like, I do too, but can I Can we also talk about like, how, but how stupid is this- the English language is? I- Why the fuck does there have to be... <laughs> Like so many words. I know. Why does discipline? Well, yeah, yeah. Like, that are the same. Why don't you? Yeah, the, the it it doesn't have to be necessary. It, it like just go with the word punishment. I mean, in in the definition of de- of discipline right does here, he use it's discipline? a it's a, no. He says punishment. Well, it, it, that's punishment. That's not discipline. It's t- it's punishment. Discipline can be punishment. You're disciplining someone. Yeah, but it's just punishment. But it's also discipline. Yeah, but it's a, it's a stupid synonym. It's the same word. It is. It's not the same word. I mean, it's the same. Concept. It's the same. It's the same concept. Yeah. All right. Let me like. I okay. So he's trying to go for discipline here for principle twelve. Okay, I get that. You do need discipline. Let me read it. Let me let me read yeah, into this. Give give me more. I don't like it so far. So I don't far, like it so far so either. Far, so uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, we we got what we wish for. Uh, if you understand both meanings, then you should practice the former to avoid experiencing the latter. Okay. Okay. I'm giving it a no. Okay. Uh, I was once the president of a of a housing cooperative where all the residents shared responsibilities for the care of the common areas of the complex. We devised a monthly schedule in which all the residents participated. One time, we had a meeting discussing disciplinary action should be taken for those who were unfaithful to their maintenance responsibilities. Blah 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 blah. Uh, I don't like this one. I don't like it. I I like the I like the core idea. He's trying to go for principle, but the way he went about it, I I think was poor. So the, the not a fan. The the principle of 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 discipline, great, great discipline in your recovery, very good idea. The way he went by explaining this, not fantastic, not not, I, not I don't, fantastic. I don't know why we have to discipline people. <sighs> Some people need to be no, people who fuck with children. They need to be disciplined. Well, yes, yes, but mm-hmm. like they need to be punished. But some people need to be punished. Okay, punishment but, needs to be like but, punishment is a thing. But but we're also talking about the discipline of like being within your step work, right? And being disciplined. Yeah, exactly. And then so it's like that, and that's what he should have. If he would have just stuck with that, that like discipline. hey, hey, discipline. You need to you need to get a home group. You need to discipline. go go to ninety ninety. Get a sponsor. Like do you the, need to be disciplined in your recovery? Create exactly. You need to create a new routine through. And that so was what from, are those that, crazy like Christians called that like discipline themselves? Like, oh, like, like the, the, the self-flagellation. Yeah, like those oh, people, yeah. like you know, like during like oh, like yeah. the fucking plague like the guy and shit. in um um the Da Vinci Code. Yeah, that yeah, dude. who had that belt around that his thigh. Dude. Oh, that was fucking gnarly. That, that was badass. That, that was dude. badass. Who was that? He was Vision. He's what? Vision. Yeah. What the fuck is it's his name? Paul, Bu- uh, Bettany. Paul, Bu- Paul Bettany. Yeah, great actor. He's great. So actor. underrated. Yeah. You know who? Else? My favorite underrated actor, Alan Tudyk. Your favorite is my favorite. Un- he, I think he is criminally underrated. No, he's. I wouldn't. I wouldn't say he's underrated for me. Oh, he is. Nobody um, knows who we know who Alan. I know who Alan. T- like we know, know who Alan Tudyk is. Most yeah. people don't. I'm trying to think. He was in something I really enjoyed. Oh, Doom Patrol. He was in the first season of Doom Patrol. Oh, really? Yeah, he was Mister Nobody. Nice. Or, um, I think Mister. You know, he's the voice of Hey Hey and Moana. Um, he does the a chicken. lot of voice. He does a lot of voice acting. Is it, did you know? Did do you know the Disney like the the double reference they did to him? In what Moana? No, in Frozen and then Zootopia. No. Okay, so you've seen Frozen a million times. Um, yeah. So you know the Duke of Weselton. <laughs> the Duke of Weselton. Of course, I know the Duke. Of Weselton. So that's Alan Tudyk, and they keep saying Weasel Town. And Weselton. He, it's Weselton, and yeah. and so he's the Duke of Weselton. But then. In Zootopia, he actually plays Is a he the we- weasel. He's the weasel, and they say, uh, "Where's it at, Weselton?" And he was like, "It's Weaselton." <laughs> I thought that was Steve Buscemi. For some no, reason. it's Alan Tudyk. So he got to be the Duke of Weselton really? and a weasel named Duke in Zootopia, which is phenomenal to me. He's also King Candy in Wreck It Ralph. Duke yeah, I, I thought like his voice sounded so Steve Buscemi. It um, does. It does. But no, that's so that's Alan Tudyk. Fantastic. Fantastic. Way to like close that loop. What a like, solid cast of Zootopia. Holy oh, Zootopia shit. is fantastic, dude. It's Idris Elba. It's Jennifer Goodwin. It's uh, Jason Bateman, Alan Tudyk. 
Jenny Slate is in it. Oh, Jenny, Tommy, yeah, Jenny Slate is Belle Weather. Chong, Don, yeah. uh, Bonnie Hunt, mm-hmm. J.K. Simmons, Simmons is in it. Octavia yep. Spencer, mm-hmm. Shakira is in it as Giselle. Shakira is Gazelle. Yeah, Gazelle, like the Adele. And if you ever look through her uh, like iPod when she's like looking for music, they have like she they has have like, Shakira. Well, no, they have like different like they have animal based like band names. So instead of the Foo Fighters, it's the Fur Fighters <laughs> <laughs> and stuff like that. It's hilarious. Anyway, we've digressed. We had we had to jazz up the end of this at uh, the end of this episode because honestly, that that Principal Twelve sucked. Yeah, I, wasn't it, a fan. I I get it. Discipline's a good idea, but the way he went about it, it explaining it was very poor. Everybody, you know, get some discipline. Well, it's because, also the way like. I don't know because we were just talking about. He's talking art. about like, oh, you're disciplined as like a swordsmith or or a samurai. Like this is the training and schooling you have, and then like, and on the other hand, we have punishment. And it's like, what? Yeah. You do the first thing to avoid the second. Not no. at all. Not at all the way you should. Is fucking that the explain way he that. explained it? Wow, yes. I didn't even get that part. Yeah. You, you lost me as soon as we got to discipline. My brain went like. He literally else. said that if you understand both meanings, then you should practice the former to avo- avoid experiencing the latter. It's, it's you should be disciplined, otherwise you're gonna be punished. Yeah. I don't is like what it. he's saying. That's terrible. I don't it's like it's it. a, it's very bad. No, you should. No, the the reason you should you should uh, create discipline in your life is to start building a self esteem and b integrity, because again, recover recovery is not it, it's it's primarily behind closed doors. Meetings, step work, doing stuff with your sponsor, all great things, but the the majority of your life is not spent around people in recovery so if you're not developing your own form of principles and integrity and responsibility and accountability in your life which are those things of discipline then you're not going to stay clean and i think i explained his principle 12 way better than he did so it's just he lost me with the uh so we were we, we were three for three and principle 12 I'm gonna say a thumbs down. Yeah. We, got, we got two thumbs down on that one. Very, very poorly written. But so far, like these 32 principles of recovery, you know, they're valid, and he he has some great points in here so far. And we're coming up, we're a third of the way through. 32 is a lot. So 32 is yeah. a lot. That's a lot of principles. So you know, there's probably gonna be a little fluff in there. But so far, as an extra little piece, very thin, very thin. Pick it up. I'm sure you can get it on Amazon. 32 principles of recovery. It it, it seems like a really good viable. Um, all right yeah we'll 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 go to the next uh, tool tool in your recovery so all right everybody those are our 32 principles of recovery for the day that was part three we are up to 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 do principle 13 coming up so everybody thanks for joining us once again like share subscribe we now have videos up on youtube and we will have more stuff coming on youtube so please check that out um join our patreon help us keep these microphones on because they're expensive and we are self-supporting uh also merch go check out our merch i want to get a t-shirt so i can actually have it on one of these videos and i will coming up soon right now i am a dairy girl also check out that show He's a james. Um, he is a james um yeah i think that's it but most importantly everybody out there thanks for listening and stay safe and stay safe